to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Over the years, I've told so many young athletes to make sure they are surrounding themselves with good people because that's the fastest way to turn your weaknesses into strengths. And when you can surround yourself with a room full of Olympia winners, the way Ricky Moten's been doing lately, it isn't hard to understand why it feels like that he's moving at warp speed. Last year, Moten made his jump from men's physique to classic when he managed to take fourth at a stacked New York Pro. But now that he's literally got a room full of Hall of Famers guiding his every move, I think this kid has a chance to be one of the real breakout stars of the season. Hopefully you guys were paying attention to the last segment when I said watch who you surround yourself with. Look guys, I'm dropping knowledge on you here. But if you don't want to believe, look at your screen. What do you see? That's Whitney Jones and Sidney Gillen training together two weeks out from the Arnold. You're looking at two reigning and defending Arnold and Olympia champions who understand how important it is to have someone who's willing to push you to the absolute limit. This isn't a game. If you feel like you're stuck in a rut, you probably are. So take a look around you. Wake up. Change your scenery. Surround yourself with the best because before you know it, your idols might become your rivals. I don't want to say luck isn't real. I'm not smart enough to know if that's true. I just know I don't believe in it. I believe we create our own luck by working hard and taking advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. I mean, just look at Eduardo Correa. He has a former Olympia runner-up and a guy who arguably could have at least won one title if it wasn't for injuries. Some people would call that bad luck, but with Flex Lewis out of the picture now and a potential comeback starting to look more and more likely, am I suddenly starting to believe that Lady Luck is looking in the direction of Eduardo again? Well, truth be told, I really don't know what the answer is. All I know is that he's out there working, and if he works hard enough and the right opportunity comes along, who knows how this whole thing might come full circle. Listen, I'm as guilty as everyone else at getting mad when stuff happens that's just out of my control and just throwing my hands up and saying, why me? But when the announcement came down that there wasn't going to be a 212 lineup at this year's Arnold Classic, Charles Dixon could have said the same thing. He could have gotten mad. He could have gone angry bird and started tweeting crazy nonsense. But did he? Did he? Instead of whining and crying about why, he chose to flip the whole script on its head and say, why not? Why not compete in the open? Why not go all in? Why not push this thing to the limit and see what I can do? And you know what? I applaud him for that. Why not go ahead and show the world what you're made of, Charles Dixon? They say it's the ones you never see coming who always end up hurting you the most. But at the end of last year, I don't think anyone in the men's physique division saw Kamani Victor coming. And he ended up inflicting all sorts of damage by the time he wrapped up the season. As of today, Victor and his team are a little more than a week out from last season's fourth quarter star, stepping on stage with some of the most dangerous men in the business. And I can promise you that he won't be sneaking up on anyone there. There's no doubt that Victor is a talented athlete whose best days are still in front of him. But putting together a top five effort next weekend would really go a long way towards cementing his status as one of the best in the sport. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.